Hey everyone. Akito here. Today I want to show a mono slash resistance build for Glaciala. Glaciala has one of the highest innate slash resistance with 25%. Therefore it is very possible to reach 100% slash resistance on her to become immune to slash attacks. For this build there are basically three main components that you need to fully utilize this build. First, the Siren Esper. Secondly, Equipment. Third, Vision Cards with Slash Resistance Effect. The purpose of this build is mainly to counter Slash base teams in Arena or Guild Wars. It is not recommended to fight against teams with less than two Slash based characters. So without further ado, let's talk about our first point, Siren. Siren is one of the key components for this build. You can get up to 25% Slash Resistance from her board. Also you can unlock 15% Pierce attack up to increase Glaciala's damage output. Alternatively you can also unlock 7% accuracy rate up which comes in handy to hit some of 80 characters like Stern or Venera in Arena. Let's move on to our next subject, Equipment. There are basically three pieces of gear that can increase your slash resistance on the wielder. First is Glaciala's Trust Master Reward the White Wolf's Armor. It has the active ability War Maiden's Vitality that can increase your slash resistance on one of your units by max 15% for 3 turns. It also restores 20 action points. It's a really powerful DMR and it has the highest amount of slash resistance value comparing to all other pieces of equipment that is currently available. Just take note that the buff lasts only 3 turns and it will lose its effect if the fight lasts longer than 4 turns. The second piece of gear is the Platinum Helm Plus 5. It gives a total amount of 10% slash resistance. In comparison to Glaciala's DMR it is a permanent stat and won't lose its effect after 3 turns. The barrier version of the helmet also offers the wielder 18 spirit, which is comes in handy to increase her survivability against any magic users. The third option would be the golden armor plus 5. It has the personal effect plus 8 slash attack resistance up. The golden armor provides in my opinion a solid amount of slash resistance and it is also one of the easiest item to obtain. The shield version offers 18 defense and makes her more sturdy against any type of physical attack. The more of less downside of this item is that you will lose effectively 3 agility. Now to my final point, let's talk about vision cards. For vision cards we need to divide them into cards that either grant slash resistance as a personal effect or has it as party ability. The best vision card that gives the most amount of slash resistance for the party is currently the Solidus card. It has the party ability to increase the slash attack resistance by max 20%. The Solidus Vision card has a very high magic stat on it. The best way to equip it is to put it on one of your magic users like Kilfi or Ayaka. A good alternative would be the Iron Giant Vision card that gives max 15% slash resistance for the party. I guess that's the card that everyone should be familiar with. Now looking at the other side, we are now looking at Vision cards that has slash resistance as personal effect. First card with the Snow White Guard. It has max 15% slash and missile attack resistance up. This card is currently the only card that provides a good amount of resistance. The only downside of it that it decreases the wielder's health by 15%. The second best option would be the second division of the Kingdom of Leonis, Kylum card. It has the personal effect plus 10% slash resistance at max. As for party effect the card gives up to 35% dexterity up. The dexterity stat will basically increase your accuracy of your party so against of 80 units that can be somewhat beneficial. But after all it is still an ultra rare card and maxing this one out and still cost quite a lot of money. Now to sum everything up, let's take a closer look at our stats. As you can currently see my Solidus Vision card isn't fully maxed yet and I'm only using a Golden Armor plus 5 and I don't have a plus 5 Platinum Helmet. As a result I currently have reached a total of 88% slash resistance on her. Once I have maxed out my Solidus card I will obtain another 5% slash resistance for the party and I will get 93% in total. With the plus 5 helmet I can even reach 95% resistance. And in future if I want to push it even further with her DMR I can get another 5%. So the immunity against slash attacks would be possible with this kind of build.
Oh, 